Okay, so what we have is a bullet which is traveling at a velocity v0. It's not given in the question right now. And it has a certain mass 0 0.0035 kilograms. And it hits a wooden block of 1.2 kilogram. And it passes right through. And then it hits mass 1.8 kilogram. And it gets embedded inside this box. And as a result, it imparts a certain velocity to both the masses. And the velocity of the first mass becomes about 0 0.63 meters per second. And that of the second mass becomes 1.4 meters per second. So the question is, what is the velocity of the bullet before it hit the first mass? So what we have to find is this. So let us recreate all the information in a new diagram which captures all the information that I have just mentioned. So here is all the information neatly captured in this diagram. So we have a velocity of 0 0.63 meters per second after the bullet has hit mass 1 and the velocity of the second mass is 1.4 meters per second and the bullet kind of embeds itself inside this box. And let us also assume that the velocity of the bullet after it has pierced the first box and is going to hit the second box is v. That is the velocity in between is v. So let's apply the law of conservation of linear momentum first to this system. And if you apply the equation of momentum to the system, what you'll get is that the mass of the bullet into its velocity should equal to the mass of the bullet and the mass of the second box. Let's call this a second box and this is the first box. Mass of the second box into the resultant velocity, the combined velocity of the two, which is given as 1.5. 4 meters per second. And let's call this Vc, the combined velocity. So if we substitute the values, what you get is 0 0.0035 kilogram, which is the mass of the bullet, into its velocity before it hits the second mass, should equal to the combined weight. So the combined weight would be 1.8 plus 0 0.0035. So what you get is 1.8035 kilograms into its combined velocity, which is given as 1.4 meters per second. And from this equation, you can find that the velocity of the bullet before it hits the second mass equals about 721 meters per second. So we know that this is 721 meters per second. Now what we'll do is we'll apply the law of conservation of linear momentum to this system, that is before the bullet hits the first mass and after the bullet has gone right through the first mass. So we'll say that the momentum of the bullet before it hit the mass is mb into v0, because v0 is a velocity before it hit the first mass, should equal to the momentum of the bullet after it came out of the first mass, or we call it mb into v plus the momentum of the first box when it is hit by the bullet and that would be m1 into its velocity velocity v1 and you'll see we have all the values available to find v0 so we have mb is equal to 0 0.0035 kilograms v0 is what we have to find should equal to the momentum of the bullet after it has gone through mass 1, which would be 0 0.0035 into its velocity v, which we've just found as 721 meters per second, plus the momentum of the box after the bullet has come out of the first mass, and which would be 1.2 is the mass into its velocity, which is given as 0 0.63 meters per second, after the bullet comes out of it. And if you solve for V0, what you'll get is V0 is equal to 937 meters per second. So I'll repeat how we have approached this problem. So what we've done is, first we've taken this system and we've taken the momentum of the bullet before it embeds itself in mass 2 and we've equated that with the momentum that results when the bullet is inside the second mass. 
Then from this, we found the velocity of the bullet before it gets into second mass. And then we've taken this as a system and calculated the momentum before the bullet got into mass one and equated it with the momentum of the bullet after it comes out of mass one plus the momentum of mass one itself. 